Hi, in this video I will show you how to install a self-hosted BTC Pay server from a cheap, straightforward and customizable web interface in just a few clicks with Luna Node Hosting. This is a brand new way of installing BTC Pay server and the guide I'm about to show you assumes that you already have a Luna Node account and some credits in it. If you do not know how to register for Luna Node and add credits, I will leave a link to the video where I take you step by step. For now, log in into your Luna Node account and click API. Click Create API button. Copy your API ID and go to launchbtcpay.lunanode.com. This is the web interface where we will be installing our BTC Pay server. Copy our key from here into the key field and your API ID into the API ID field. When you do that, click Continue. Now you can choose whether you want to have a BTC Pay on your own domain or use a custom Luna node domain. If you're a merchant, it is probably better that you add this IP address to your domain DNS uh, as a, a domain. But if you're just looking to have fun and quickly set up a full Bitcoin node and Lightning Network LND, you can just use this custom domain. Just click continue or add your domain here. For now, we'll just proceed. Up here, you can customize your BTC Pay server. You can do a bunch of stuff. You can add your SSH key to further improve the security of your server. If you do not know what SSH key is, I will also leave a very helpful guide where you can read more about it and learn how to create one. In the email address field, you can enter your email address where you will be notified by Let's Encrypt in case your certificate expires. I recommend that you add this. But it's also optional and you can skip it. For the network type, you can choose from the mainnet, testnet and regtest. If you do not know what these two are, just leave it to mainnet. In the supported currencies, you can select which coins you want to add. Be advised that if you add more than two coins, you need to use a better hosting plan. You can choose plans in the VM plan field here. For more coins, it is highly recommended that you use either S2, M4 or even M8 if you're going to use more than three or four coins. In the next field, you can select Lightning Network implementation. For now, only LND is available, but as soon as C-Lightning enables pruning, it will be also available from the drop-down menu. You can add the alias for your Lightning node here, and also choose the repository from which you want to install BTC Pay server. This is mostly for developers, so if you're a regular user, leave everything else to default. Now, you can choose a M2 plan, and for this setup I'm using BTC and LND, it will take for around 5 or 6 days on the M2 plan. And it will cost $8.8, .8, which is quite affordable. If you want a faster sync, you can choose M4 or S2 plan, but they are probably overkill unless you need your uh, node synced quickly, in around 24 or 30 hours. So, go with the default settings and just click Launch VM. Now you need to wait 1 or 2 minutes as instructed on the screen here. And you'll see that you are successfully launched your virtual machine and BTC Pay server is being set up. Please note that your BTC has not been set up yet. Now Luna Node will install it and that process will take about 5 minutes. When ready, your BTC Pay server will be available at the link you see below. And the link will depend whether you used your own domain name or the one pre-selected by Luna Node. So leave this screen on for five, six, seven minutes, take a break and return after five or six minutes. After five minutes, you just can go directly to the domain you selected or you can click the link here, which will lead you to your BTC Pay server. And again, depending on the hosting plan you've selected, your syncing will be different. When the sync is ready, you can start using BTC Pay server. Do not use it uh, until it's fully synced because you'll be experiencing some errors here and there. When the sync is completed, you can register your BTC Pay server account and first registered account is admin account. 
If you have any questions about how to install BTC Pay Server, I will leave a bunch of useful links in the description of this video, and you can always visit BTC Pay Server Slack, where the community will be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.